हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद आसिम एंड वी आर डूइंग एड मैथ एड मैथ फॉर आईजीसीएसई स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 0606 एंड फॉर सीआईई ओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 4037 सो बोथ काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कैन गेट इक्वल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस कोर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिड फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव from exercise 15.11 the topic of this exercise is the area between the between two curves or the area between the straight line and curve in this question 5 we have to sketch the graph as well so before i start question number 5 part d first i would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is admath watch previous lectures of this exercise then you will have good command on this topic so let's start part d question number 5 The question is sketch the following curves and lines and find the area enclosed between their graphs so part d is y is equals to 4x minus x square 2x plus y is equals to 0 so first we have to solve these two equations in order to find the values of x so take the equation of a straight line make y as a subject so y is equals to minus 2x put this value of y is equals to minus 2x in the equation of curve that is minus 2x is equals to 4x minus x square or shift right hand side from on left hand side so it will be x square minus 4x minus 2x is equals to 0 so x square minus 6x is equals to 0 take common x so x minus 6 is equals to 0 this implies that x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 6 and this is our limit from 0 to 6 now we have to sketch the curve so i have a graph plotter the first equation is the first equation is y is equals to 4x minus x square y is equals to 4x minus x square now look the graph this is the graph y is equals to 4x minus x square the maximum point you can see on this graph is 2 4 the maximum point is 2 comma 4 and the second equation is y is equals to sorry 2x plus y is equals to 0 2x plus y is equals to 0 the green one 
so this is our required graph the blue curve is the equation of y is equals to 4x minus x square and the red line is the equation of a straight line 2x plus y is equals to 0 as an ad mass students you can easily draw this graph I am drawing over here roughly so this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis x x negative y and y negative and this is the origin where the values of x and y are zero the values of x is 0 and 6 so I am taking 2 square 1 square is 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are two points 0 and 6 and our maximum point is 1 2 1 2 3 4 2 4 x 2 y 4 so x 2 1 2 3 4 this is our maximum point the graph passes through the origin is our graph the equation of curve is y is equals to 4x minus x square 2x plus y so y is equals to minus 2x so x square minus 4x minus 2x x square minus 6x x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 6 but the graph is cuts this point x is 4 0 and x is 2 4 Okay, let's continue with six zero. So this is our graph, and the straight line is the straight line. You can see the y-intercept is zero.
keep in mind this is just a rough graph now we have to find the area between the curve it's very easy curve is above and line is below therefore the area is from 0 to 6 first is curve that is 4x minus x square dx minus 0 to 6 that is minus 2x dx because the value of y from a straight line is minus 2x taking integration 0 to 6 common and then first simplify 4x minus x square minus minus plus 2x dx is equals to integrate 0 to 6 or you can directly integrate 4 x integration is x square upon 2 minus x cube upon 3 plus 2 x integration is x square upon 2 2 to the 4 2 x square minus 1 upon 3 x cube plus 2 cancel by 2 x square and the limit is from 0 to 6 2 goes outside limit x square 6 square is 36 minus 0 minus 1 upon 3 x cube 6 cube is 216 minus 0 plus x square 6 square is 36 minus 0 36 to the 72 minus 3 7 the and 3 to the 6 minus 72 plus 36 72 cancel by 72 36 this is our answer so it is 100 percent correct answer very very easy so this graph is 100 percent correct okay because our x values are 100 percent correct i just confused to see in a graph plotter so this is part d hope you enjoy this part our answer is 36 now move to part e Part E is Y equals to X minus 1 X minus 5 And Y is equals to X minus 1 Again we have to put the value of Y is equals to X minus 1 In equation of curve so replace y to x minus 1 is equals to x into x x square x into 5 is 5x 1 into x is x and 5 so x minus 1 is equals to x square minus 6x plus 5 x square minus 6x plus 5 left hand side x move to right hand side minus x plus 1 is equals to 0 x square minus 6x minus x is minus 7x 5 plus 1 is 6 is equals to 0 
this is a quadratic equation you can easily solve this quadratic equation I am writing directly the answer of X The first value is 6 and the second value is 1. The answer is x is 1 and 6. And this is our limit. Now we have to draw, we have to sketch the graph of curve and straight line. So y is equals to x minus 1 x minus 5 this is the graph The minimum point of this graph is 3 comma minus 4 3 comma minus 4 The minimum point is 3 comma minus 4. So 1, 2, 3, one, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. This is the minimum point and the x intercept are 1, 0 and 5, 0. one zero and five zero and y intercept is five one two three four five now join these points to make the curve This is the graph of y is equals to x minus 1, x minus 5. Now draw the straight line y is equals to x minus 1. So this is our straight line, the green one. Passing through minus 1,
this is our straight line kindly keep in mind this is not exact or you can say 100% correct graph but it looks like this and you can see we have to integrate the function from 1 to 6 from 1 to 6 where is 1 where is 6 this is 1 and this point is 6 so we have to find the area of this region so you can say one two three four five six this is six and the graph should be like this and this is one so we have to find the area of this shaded region I repeat again this is not hundred percent correct graph we did lot of practice in previous exercise for drawing a graph we need three uh, four points one is x intercept one is y intercept and then find the maximum or minimum point by derivative method and then sketch the curve okay so straight line is above and curve is below so our area under the curve is from 0 to 6 not 0 to 6 1 to 6 the equation is x minus 1 dx minus integrate 1 to 6 the equation is x minus 1 x minus 5 simplify it 1 to 6 x minus 1 minus multiply these two brackets x square minus 5x after solving we have already solved in above so therefore I am writing directly the answer minus 6x plus 5 dx don't forget to write dx the operator 1 to 6 x minus 1 minus x square plus 6x minus 5 dx So minus x square 6x plus x is 7x minus 6 dx. Minus x square integration is minus x cube upon 3. 7x integration is 7x square upon 2. Minus 6 integration is 6x. And the limit is from 1 to 6. Okay. Now apply the limit minus 1 upon 3 x cube 6 cube is 216 minus 1 cube 1 cube is 1 plus 7 upon 2 6 square 36 minus 1 square is 1 minus 6 x is 6 6 minus 1 minus 1 upon 3 216 minus 1 is 215 7 upon 2 36 minus 1 is 35 minus 6 6 minus 1 is 5 
टू वन फाइव इंटू वन इज माइनस टू वन फाइव अपॉन थ्री थर्टी फाइव इंटू सेवन इज टू फोर्टी फाइव सिक्स फाइव ज थर्टी टेक द एल सी एम सिक्स थ्री टू जिक्स एंड टू इंटू टू फिफ्टीन फोर थर्टी सो माइनस फोर थर्टी प्लस टू थ्री जिक्स एंड टू फोर्टी फाइव इंटू थ्री सेवन थर्टी फाइव एंड सिक्स थ्री जा वन एटी सिंप्लीफाइड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन सिक्स दिस कैन बी राइट ट्वेंटी होल फाइव अपॉन सिक्स and this is our final answer so hope you understand completely that how to sketch the graph and how to find the area but in part d i was little bit confused in part d so i just confuse uh, because i forgot to differentiate between x intercept and the limit okay so kindly ignore that mistake this is our today's class where we did part d and e of question number 5 Question number five has finished. What next? Question number six. This is also related the graph and then area, but the main difference between five and six is in five one is curve and one is straight line. but in 6 both are curves but question is very easy no issue okay students so i request all of you that kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture